You little pickaninny, you're gonna kill yourself flying like that. Yes, you are. Deep, Pops. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you speak. Didn't say nothing. Didn't you? Mr. David Burke. 607, sir. E excuse me. Floor, mister? Six. You hear that wind? Man, I'm going to get myself grounded out of the Air Force. That's what I'm going to do. Ain't going to fly this kind of crate anymore. Can you blame me? Right on time, Slater. Right on time. All right there, Yuli. Come in, come in. Here, let me help you off with your things. What are you doing with such a big old dog in New York? I never had a wife. Right on the button. That's what I'm looking for, Slater. Someone serious with a head for business. All right, here. Come on, over here. Here, up. Whiskey? I don't mind. Straighter with water. With water. I got ice. You want ice? No, just, just water. Make yourself comfortable, Slater. We got to talk. Like the view? You got a whole heap of it. I used to be able to afford a little space inside, too. But we call this dump home, don't we, old boy? <laughs> Not bad. Well, here's to our mutual benefit. May it be considerable. I guess you know all you had to know about me, Slater. I know something. All right, you tell me what you know. Go on. You said you wanted to talk to me. Since we knew a few people in common, I naturally wanted to come and find out. I mean the dirt. I know you were on a police force. You had a session with the State Crime Committee, and you got a year for contempt. Because I wouldn't talk. I was on the force 30 years. I had my own squad and I knew everybody. Everybody was my friend until they needed a patsy. I know about you, Earl. Two stretches, one for assault with a deadly weapon, one for manslaughter. Every time you get a decent job, you'll manage off. to. So big about you, Burke. How come you make so much noise? You've been sniffing around trying to find a hole in the fence just like everybody else. What makes you so big you can call me up to this dump and shoot off your mouth? I got an idea, that's why, Slater. How would you like to pick up $50,000 all in small bills just for yourself? How would you? Johnny? No, when? Sure, that's fine. Well? What would I have to do? Just walk into a bank and take it. Maybe you got me wrong, Bert. I never stole nothing in my life. Except maybe a watermelon when I was a boy on the farm. I don't want a big Joe with more decorations than Dillinger. I want a safe thing. I want a 
man who needs some money to set himself up. I want a man with guts. I want a serious guy in trouble, and that's you, that's me, that's the both of us. This is a one-time job, one roll of the dice, and then we're through forever. Come on, Slater, what do you say? This could be it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on the way down. I'm walking down. <laughs> some explaining. How about a drink? No, thanks. You got the floor. Uh, here. He keeps shedding. All right, there. Come on. Get up there. Those blue coats. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, you don't look like I could sell anything to you. You look like you have it all right now. Come on, fill me in, Dave. You're in tobacco for too much dough. Now tell me something I don't know. You owe him about six grand, right? Wrong. Seven and a half. It was six last week. Well, the horses are still running and I'm still losing. And Baco's willing to wait? What's the pitch, Dave? I know how you can pay it off. I know what's coming next. The fix is in. It's a sure thing, right? Well, now, wait a minute. No, thanks, baby boy. I'll get out of the drain on my own. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm crazy. You're counting your fingers and toes. I'm talking about five o o o o. I'll take that drink. Straight. Just tell me one thing, Johnny. How come Baco hasn't knocked your teeth in for not paying off? Because I paid him a hundred a week interest. Well, that can't leave you much. Just my teeth. You ever gonna pay it off? And if I were out the streak, no use stopping now. I'm way past the life ropes and praying for a miracle. What do you mean, 50 grand? Just what I said. 50 to 75,000, like that. All in small bills. You need Johnny Ingram? I'm just a bone pick in a four man graveyard. It's a bank job. Are we social climbing, David? This is easy money. Man, you're drifting. I'm serious. That's not your line, Dave. That's the firing squad. That's for junkies and joy boys. We're people. OK. What's my line? I'll forget you asked me. You don't even want to hear? I did all my dreaming on my mother's knee. All right, forget it. Forget it. Are you riding? Downtown. I'll ride along with you. A man like you thinking thoughts like that, Dave, you're in trouble. I gotta get out of this trap. They've kicked my head in. What can I do? Find a hobby, man, anything. They sure changed your color when they rehabilitated you at Sing Sing. Fifty grand can change it back. Here, come back here, you. 
Get back in here. You heard me. Mind this door. How are those two little women of yours? The kid's fine. And that ex-wife of mine. Man, she's worse than Baco. That alimony isn't there on the first, and the lawyer's there on the second. Thanks for the lift. If you change your mind, Johnny, I think I can get you the 7,500 right away to pay off Baco. I got 500 on the nose of Lady K today. Can't lose forever. You'll be surprised. It isn't safe to walk in a park at night in a big city like this. Ah, it's these wild kids. Well, if it isn't the old clam himself. This fresh air will kill you, Coco. I know it, but it's pigeon time for the little king. What's this, a press interview or something? Go on, talk to the old man if you want to. He wants to do you a favor. What's the matter with this Davy Burke, he says? I want to pay him off. Hi, Dave. Hello, Baco. Join me? When you open up something for you, Dave, something in the operation, I told you, whenever you're ready. You're outside the law. A little inside, a little outside. More or less. Everything is a more or less. Just name it. A fellow by the name of Ingram owes you. Sure. A very entertaining boy at Canoy's place. What time is it? I'm on my way, stupid. Go back to sleep. What time? 7.30. Mm. Why so early? Burke is waiting. Earl? Can you trust this Burke? Not like I can trust you, but no. Come here, you big clown. Now you go back to sleep. Let him wait. I'm off to make my fortune. Yeah. What kind of a fortune? Just one of those fortune fortunes. I told you about it. Burke got hold of some kind of concession. Burke. Well, he's a friend of that Lefty Gowers, isn't he? Yeah, he's the one who told Burke about me. You knew Gowers in jail, didn't you? No, at the Millionaires Club. Where else? Earl, what does he want with you? Tell you after I see the proposition. You have to stay overnight? Or you just want to stay overnight? Well, I have to see the concession. You got enough money, sweetie? Plenty. How much is plenty? About $15. You better take some more. Well, Burke is paying. Well, what do I care if he's paying? You take some more, and then if you feel like paying, you just pay.
You don't have to take this deal if you don't like it. If this isn't what you want, you just don't take it. There's no hurry. There is a hurry. I have to make it, Laura, and I have to make it now. It wasn't too bad when I was grabbing along by myself. I, I know. It was always too tough and too greedy, but now because of you. No, I no, have to make it on my own, Laura, because of you, and I have to make it any way I can. No, you don't. Not just any way. And you mustn't even try. I have to. Earl, listen. I have you, right? You have me. What difference does it make where the money comes from? They're not gonna junk me like an old car. Earl. Now, don't worry. If it isn't all right, I won't do it. up the Hudson. I've got it marked there. Melton. Watch the waiter. Over here. Here's the setup. That side door is the key to the whole job. The bank stays open Thursdays till 6. Most of the factories pay on Friday, so the bank is loaded with payroll cash and deposits from the stores. Every Thursday night, there's close to $200,000 in untraceable cash sitting in there. A half dozen clerks stick around for an hour, totaling up and straightening out the books. The assistant manager has a bad heart. Joe Foss, the guard, is about to retire, has glasses and arthritis. That's it. That colored waiter from the drugstore brings them coffee and sandwiches just after six. The rest of the town's home and supper. You could take it with a water pistol. Well, what do you think? There's just one thing wrong with it. What? You didn't say nothing about the third man being a nigger. At night I tell you people When that cold, cold sun goes down At night I tell you people When that cold, cold sun goes down 
cry, I sigh, I want to die Cause my baby's not around What's the matter, pretty baby? Tell me what's your daddy done Won't you tell me, pretty mama What's your daddy done? You got to come and hold me for the morning sun. Hi, baby, what's shaking? Paco wants to buy you a drink, and I want to buy you a shiny new car. Too bad about Lady Care. Yeah, they bobbed her nose. Believe me, pretty mama, it's not just me I know. Pretty mama, it's not just me, I know. I just can't make that jungle outside of my front door. Invisible man. I had a heart attack. For a couple of horses. Don't be like that, baby. I don't care if you want to drop me, Johnny, but send back the key. You said anything about dropping you? Then you know where to find me. better when you wanted it. If I told you, Baco has a message for you. It's a long night, pretty boy. I'm not going anywhere. Johnny. Maybe I should lend you a piece of iron. Maybe. I can let you have this juvenile delinquent. I'm only playing with kids. Hi, Gary. Oh, hello, Johnny. Can I see you, Ed? Oh, why, sure. You want me to cut out? No, not for me, Gary. Ah, uh, Johnny, what do you think of these? Who are they for? My oldest, her sweet 16th. Those are real cultured pearls. 16 already? <laughs> wow. Yeah, they don't stand still like we do, Johnny. Well, what can I do for you? Baco just blew in. Called me earlier today. Oh? Well, what do you own? 7500. Hello, Ed. Marco. I come down for my money, Johnny. I don't have it. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Maybe you think I'm a jerk and wait forever, eh? Look, I lost again today. I've been losing steadily for a month. I just got to break the streak I'm in, Baco. I can't let it knock me out. Suit yourself. 
Just give the money to me by tomorrow night. All of it. Suppose I can't. There is no can't. I don't like the word can't. I say have it. Can you bail me out, Ed? I'm sorry, Johnny. I can't help you. Well, you already owe me a couple of thou anyway. Now, I asked you to stop with the horses. I remember I told you once and for all to stop. I can't get it for you tomorrow. You saying what to me? Look, man, I'm telling you in front. I don't have it now, and I won't be able to get it by tomorrow. I'm not dancing with you, Moriarty. You mean you come here with a gun? When I personally call you to talk to you? When I stretch you six months with a debt somebody else will be dead for, and you come here and pull a gun on me? The gun's in my pocket. The gun's in my hand, that's what it is. I tell you, Ingram, I want you to know. Have that door at my place tomorrow night, or I collect it from you, or that ex-wife of yours, or your kid. You do what? Sorry, Johnny, drop that gun. See? Tomorrow night, at eight, or I kill you and everything you own. Well, it tells you in the good book, and they teach the same in school. word? I keep my mouth shut. Think it over, Earl. Nothing to think over. Just the idea of it makes me nervous. I wouldn't trust my own self on a deal like this with a colored boy. Okay. Hi. You're late. I'm always afraid to wake up on this once a week Father's Day. Johnny, what time will you get back? Why? I've got a PTA meeting tonight. Should I get a sitter? You got your sitter. Daddy, 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 Daddy! Oh. How are you? Fine. All right, then, what do you see up there? Park, the lake. What else? I see a merry-go-round. Is that all? I see a red balloon. I see people skating. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Sounds like Central Park today. I'll get my Oh, Mrs. Anker, this is Edie's father. How do you do, Mr. Ingram? Hello. We're having a meeting of the PTA steering committee here. Some of my friends. This is Edie's father, Mr. Ingram. 
How do you do, Mr. Angel? How do you do, Mr. Angel? Hello, Mr. Angel. Well, I, uh, I hope you can steer your way out of it. <laughs> Very glad to meet you. I'm ready, Daddy. Let's go. I'll get the elevator. What did I ever see in you? It's here, Daddy. It's here. Dad. Big idea. Baco's afraid you might blow town. Look, you tell that Picklewood boss of yours that if he looks hard at my wife or baby, I'm blowing him a new one. I don't want to see you guys around here. You gum up the scenery. We like it here. I'm telling you to fade, or I'm turning you right in. Now, those cops. That'll be the day. Yeah. Can I help you? Can you tell me where I could find the zoo? Oh, just go through that tunnel and follow the signs. You stay right here, Edie. Daddy's got to make a phone call. I'm staying. I'm eating. And don't you budge. I'll see that she stays here if you like. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. What's your name, little girl? Edie. Edie. Oh. Mr. Burke, please. Dave? Johnny? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know you've been out. Listen, Dave, uh, I'll take out that deal. Now, wait, wait, wait. Listen, I, I need 7,500 bucks right away to pay off Baco. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll call back in 15 minutes. Yeah, bye. Hello, Baco? Burke. Fine, fine, that's what I'm calling about. Call those babies off. I told you, Davey, I got a problem. It got a little rough. Now he has to make a deal. It was a public thing, he has to make a deal. That's what I'm telling you, he's got a deal. I'm making it for him. I'll give you the dough in two weeks. He pulled a gun? Look, it can still be straightened out. Babysit. What's going 
going on in there? An orgy? What's on your mind, Helen? Can't I flirt with you a little? Some other day. Are you staying home tonight? Why? I can't get a babysitter. And stay home and take care of yourself. Well, if you're busy. <laughs> you see, Sam's boss gave him two tickets to this musical, and I'm to meet him in front of the theater. Take the baby with you. What's the matter with you? Am I bothering you with something? It's just because Laurie said that you would. Just keep taking her on for me, will you? I have to make a phone call. Mr. Burke, please. Yeah, I'm listening, Dave. Oh, stop crowing, man. There's nothing to celebrate. That little crumb threatened my kid, my ex-wife. Yeah, yeah, I know I got rid of a headache. Now I got cancer. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tonight. Wake up, Dave. We're committing suicide. This is three o'clock in the morning. Throw that bum. You throw him the other way. All right, why don't we all just uh, drink up and quit fooling around, huh? Did you say something to me, bud? That stuff belongs to my war. I'll take her to Canaveral and launch her. Well, maybe you know something better. Now, look, fellas, let's, let's all just settle down, shall we? I'm going. Maybe you'd like to try. Now, Sonny, you better go back and play with the girls. Tell them all about Sputnik. Well, I thought you were an expert or something. Come on, throw a punch. I'll show you if it's bull. All right, soldier, let's let's break it up. It's not a fight. Just want to show this old veteran how this thing works. Now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't you want to throw something? Get lost. Just a scientific experiment. We're just a couple of scientists. Now, come on, throw a punch. Try it. All right, Earl. Let me take care of this, sir. Huh? Now, look, soldier, I... Go on, try it. Any particular hand? Anyone you like, Pop. It was only trying to show off her. I didn't mean to hurt him. Miss Mom, what did you do? Is she good enough? It's all right. It's just a whim. Just take it easy, boy. Okay, stretch out. Baby, you you stretch out. Be all right. Now don't jump on. Did you look in the back boot? Oh, there you are. Sweetie, I've been calling all over. Where were you? Oh. Oh. Sweetie, I knew your deal went wrong. I knew it went wrong the minute that Helen phoned and she said you insulted her. I apologized for you and I said I, I was sure you could babysit for her later. Honey, I want to hear everything that happened when I get back. But right now, I'm so late, I got to rush right back downtown. Hey, guess what? My boss is going to buy a, a new place, and I'm going to manage it. How about that? We're going to have dinner with the owner, and he wants me there because... Uh, maybe I better call and say I can't make it. <laughs> uh, maybe I better stay home tonight, huh? You don't have to hold my hand. All right. Your dinner's on the stove, and there's some good programs on tonight. Sweetie? Hey. You'll be here when I get home, won't you? Where else would I go? Oh, Come on. I, I wish you wouldn't make such a big thing out of this. <laughs> Listen, with that deal, it's just as well. I told you, honey, I don't care how long it takes for you to find the right thing to do. Sweetie, we're doing fine. And you know, if my boss does take on this new shop, I'll be making much more money. You might at least say that I look good. If you're gone, why in the hell don't you go? Earl. You know, I knew you were in trouble when I fell in love with you. I knew it. I knew it would be rough for us, honey. It would take time. But I didn't care. You don't have to be the great big man with me, Earl. I don't care about things like that. There's only one thing I care about, sweetie. I know. Well, what happens when I get old? You are old now. Laurie! You can go straight to hell! Yeah. 
You mustn't do that. Sorry. I was dreaming. Matt always dreams about what he wants or what he's afraid of. I'm going away for a couple of days. Maybe you want to take Edie for a drive or something. Thanks. Maybe I will. No. No. How did this all happen to us? You know, Johnny. I, I didn't mind what you did to me. I mean, I minded, but I would have gone on. Are you saying I can come back? The door's never been locked against you, Johnny. Not for my sake. But I couldn't do it to Edie. A child can't have a father who lives your life. Except on visiting days. Huh? Not even on visiting days. But that's the law. You're tough. Not tough enough to change you. For what? To hold hands with those old fake friends of yours. I'm trying to make a world fit for Edie to live in. It's a sense you're not going to do it with a deck of cards in a racing form. But you are, huh? You and your big white brothers. Drink enough tea with them and stay out of the watermelon patch. And maybe our little colored girl grow up to be Miss America, is that it? I won't listen when you talk like that. You'd better go. Why don't you wise up, Ruth? It's their world and we're just living in it. Let go of me. Won't you ever let me catch you teaching Edie to suck Daddy. up to those... You woke me up. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Sweetheart, listen. I was just telling your mommy how much I loved you. And you must never forget it. We had such a nice time today. I'm telling you how much I love your mama. You always mind her. Be good. We're counting on you a lot in this family. I want to see Lori. Lori's out. Oh, come on now. Don't be mad. I'm sorry about Seth Moon, I really am. Just me and my miseries you walked in on. I'm ready to kiss, make up, and say I'm sorry. Do you know what that louse of a husband of mine did? When I told him that I couldn't get a sitter, he just decided to go there with one of the boys. How do you like it? I don't mind. The kid's sleeping upstairs. Oh, come on in here for a drink. I have to go by 11. I should have told you that anyway. Is I really mean? Don't you remember what you said? I'm scared to. What was it? I forget. To a much more affectionate future. Come on in and have a visit. I've got to keep an ear open for the baby. Yeah, you can hear the baby plenty down here. Come on. Would you do a thing like that? Like what? Like he did. Leave me alone this way. Not for a minute. <laughs> Can you really hear my kid down here? Honey, I spent more sleepless nights with you than you know. I'd like to ask you something. But you must promise not to be angry. I promise. No, 
I mean, seriously. All right. I promise. How did it feel when you killed that man? I'm sorry. I'm stupid. You want me to make your flesh creep? No, no. Forget it. I enjoyed it. It scared me, but I enjoyed it. I hated that man so I could have killed him all over again, even though I didn't mean to. What did he do to you? He called me. He insulted me. He was a very smart talking character, and then he called me. What do you mean? He dared me. Like you are now. Just this once. He comes out of the drugstore, and he crosses over with the light. Then he goes down the side street to the side door of the bank. It's a regular-sized door, like this. No different, except that in the top half, there's a small glass panel for observation. The guard opens the door. Now, this is the heart of it, Johnny. That door is on a chain. It holds the door open so much, and the waiter hands the guard the sandwiches. Hello, Bert. Come in, come in. Earl, I want you to meet Johnny Ingram. This is Earl Slater. Sorry I'm a little late, but I had girly trouble. Where were you, Dave? I was telling him about the chain. Then the guard locks the door again without ever unhooking the chain, and the waiter leaves. That's right. Chippy is a chain. We gotta figure out an answer on the chain. Maybe you could have him put a gun on the guard and his barrel through the door. Hmm? What do you think, Johnny? I don't know. Tell him about the car. I got a beauty. A hopped up motor with dual carburation and a beat up station wagon body. I bought two stolen plates, and the car can't be traced. It's a remade job that was used in smuggling. We got four police specials that have no history and a couple of shotguns. I thought this was an easy job. Sounds like D-Day. Now, don't you give those guns a thought. I'll take care of them. I'm not thinking about the guns. I'm thinking about the chain. Don't worry about it, boy. We'll be right there with you. All you have to do is carry the sandwiches in a white monkey jacket and give him a big smile and say, yes, sir. You don't have to worry and you don't have to think. We'll take care of you. You have to start right now. Don't beat up that Civil War jazz here, sweeter. We're all in this together, each man equal, and we're taking care of each other. It's one big play, a one and only chance to grab stakes forever. And I don't want to hear what your grandpappy thought on the old farm down in Oklahoma. You got it? Well, I, I'm with you, Dave. Like you say, it's just one roll of the dice. Doesn't matter what color they are. So as they come up seven. It's all right, Dave. I got an idea about the chain. Let's say the chain on the door is eight inches. I'll make it ten for good measure. 
Now, if the box with the sandwiches and the coffee is big enough, the guard just naturally has to unlatch that door. Now, you can't expect me to turn it sideways because of the coffee, right? So the box we use just got to be big enough. And he just naturally has to open that chain. You got it, Johnny. You got it. It'll work. I know it'll work. myself see the way you feel about the money. Now it has to be your own or we just can't last. And you're right. That's the way it is. Only don't leave me, Earl. Please, darling, don't leave me. Laurie, Laurie. I'll never leave. I've been leaving all my life. Since when I can first remember. When the wind blew us off the land in Oklahoma, we left. After that, I never stayed. Not in the Army, not in Detroit, not any place. I'd start something. If it didn't work right away, I'd blow it. And there was always something. A lousy captain, a Pollock foreman in the auto works, would be too slow. Well, I'm getting too old to take things slow. If I don't make it now, I never will. I mean, with you, too, it's now or never. Aren't things ever easy for you, Earl? Only when I get mad. And then they get too easy. I think that's why I get mad, to make it easy. But I got something now. And I'm going to stick with it.
What'll it be, mister? Just gas. Fill her up. You do 150 on a straightaway? I said just gas. Sorry, mister. She's strictly 65 on the outside. I'm a nut on motors. Up, parked, and ready for the switch. If we get to it. How are you doing, Earl? Just waiting for the whistle. Remember, I'm the one who blows it. Gloves on all the time? Quit mothering me, Dave. Doing all right. Look, Dave, I don't mind the action. It's a waiting. I wasn't made to wait, and I've been waiting all my life. It won't be long now. The sooner the better. When I gassed up, that dumb kid in the station opened the hood and saw the motor. What of it? He surely admired it. And me. You worried about it? Not yet. But I'm working on it. I hope that business with the chain works. The hell with that chain! No fireworks. Sure. Just get this in your head, Earl. Ingram isn't a powder puff. Look, I know you're a tough cop, Dave. But a sudden noise in the night is like to frighten Brother Bones. Johnny was in the same war as you. Sure, and he had the big white master to hold his hand. He better not crap out. He won't. If he does, I'll hold his hand. the crash and there it was. You see him? I see him. Let's go. Wait Come just a second. On. Come on. Let me have your name on that. Come on. What's that clown trying to do? Keep your shirt on. All right, thanks. Wait, wait a second. Would you wait a minute, sir? I jumped the light. You jumped these people. Who are you, police officer? All right, let's go. Copy down the page.
You crazy? Shut up, Earl. What did the cop want? How do you like that for luck? He asked me if I saw the accident. Well, you gave him your fingerprints. Did he see your license? How stupid can you get? I got nothing in my wallet but a bus ticket and 15 bucks. That's all? That's all. But he got a good look at me right up close. You were wearing the glasses. We were face to face. Your own mother wouldn't know you in those dark glasses. She would if I held up a bank. Get wise to yourself, Ingram. You're just another black spot on Main Street. Shut that ugly mouth of yours, Earl. Get in the car. Someday I'm going to snap off your poisoned head. Listen to me, Johnny. That cop wouldn't recognize you in a hundred years. We have to take some chances. You're a gambling man. Gamble. Depends on the odds. Back up, Burke. The odds will never be right. I know how to handle him. I've been handling him all my life. He's no different because he got him a $20 pair of shoes. All right, Slater. Handle me. Please. Johnny! It's now or never, Johnny. We're right up to the line. We'll be done in the way by 6.15. You sure you want to go through with this? It's going to let us live again. All right. Good boy. We keep apart till six. Everything like we planned. Let's move. The next time you call me, I'm going to see you. I'll be waiting. You're not just another white spot to me. All right, let's go. Take it easy, pal. Don't worry about Slater. He's a hard nose, but he's dependable in the clutch. It's gonna work.
You know, I don't know which is worse, the atom bomb or you kids and your do-it-yourself cars. Should have seen the job I gassed up this afternoon, Charlie. Just an old beat-up station wagon. But the motor inside. Let's have the key. The key! Get anything? Not a shot. We dumped a couple of rabbits. Good, good. There, I got you. <laughs> I got you again. Right. Come on, let's get them girls. Come on. We deserved it. We got them. We got them. Right. We got them right now. Belly button. Hey, shut it out. Hey, actually. I got them right in the mouth. I'm going to look. Watch out. Here's hey.
safe, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. They must be using bigger boxes. Uh, just a second. Oh, he killed somebody. Give me the keys. Hey, you get the car. But Johnny's supposed to get the car. We got it made. Come on. Give me the keys. Come on. Come on. Keep the room covered. Oh, Pete. Pete, can I see you a minute? Sure thing. I need another book of raffle tickets. Well, I sure have to. Hey, that's funny. Hey, hold it, mister. You there, the hunter. Keys 
Burke. Give up. You don't have a chance. The keys, Burke. Burke, the keys. You there in the alley. Come out with your hands up. Burke, give us the keys. There your keys. You still got it made? Run, Johnny. I'm sorry. Let's clear out. You can't leave Burke here. Watch it. Look out! Drop that gun! What do you know? He sure ain't gonna talk now. You bastard! You screwed it up! You couldn't trust me and you killed him, you brute! No, hold it! Well, these are the two that did it.
Which is which? Take your pick. 